I remember that the time passed and there was a new teacher at school. And he told me one time, I think she likes me. <laughs> <laughs> and I said what everybody would have said, you wish. <laughs> Have you seen this woman? There is no way you're boxing that above your weight. But then, but then things started unfolding. And I realized that they really were meant to be. As we've been counting days until our wedding for the past two years, I keep seeing you walking towards me on our first date. You march down the sidewalk, curls bouncing, eyes shining from blocks away. Your smile stretched like Saturday afternoons, full of limitless possibilities. I knew then I wanted to make you smile like that again, and I've spent four years doing so as often as I know how. Soon. You'll walk towards me again, down an aisle lined with family and friends, and I'll watch your bouncing curls and your shining eyes. I want to keep looking at you with that same admiration for the rest of our lives, but I know it will only grow deeper. It doesn't seem like very long ago that we were both trying to figure out whether the other was interested. You were the passionate English teacher that the kids couldn't stop talking about. I was the new science teacher, fresh out of my master's. Thankfully, it wasn't too long before you realized that I didn't actually need to visit the copy room multiple times a day, and I didn't have to walk by your classroom every time. I remember how nervous I was before our first date. Were you just being a friendly coworker? I stressed over what to wear, which is nothing new, but once we were there, it was the easiest date. You put so much thought and planning into the day, and I remember texting my girlfriends when you went to order us beers about how it was the best date I'd ever been on. So today, after 717 days and a reschedule, we get to officially recognize and welcome Pat into the family. Unofficially, he's been part of our family from the very beginning. We met Pat, Lisa and I met Pat in OTR two years ago, not very far away from and from that first meeting, it was very clear that these two people had a very special bond. Yes. Oh my God. And now 717 days after you've asked, we're finally formalizing the commitment we've made to one another. The past 717 days have thrown wrenches that we could not have foreseen. 
Through all of this uncertainty, I could not be more certain about you. When we first dated, I would sneak off to the bathroom to glance at lists of questions and topics I prepped ahead. I worried that one day I'd have nothing left to say. What I found instead were conversations where hours sauntered by, and I realized that being present with you was all I ever needed. Long before we lived together, being with you felt like coming home. Welcome, family, friends, and loved ones. We gather here today to celebrate the wedding of Pat and Lindsay. You have come here to share this formal commitment they make to one another, to offer your love and your support for this union, and to allow Pat and Lindsay to start their married life together, surrounded by the people dearest and more important to them. So welcome, one and all. That is why when they had this need of moving away from Cincinnati, which broke my heart, I also knew that they were never going to be away from home, because away from home for them is away from each other. And they will not be away from each other. They will always be home. You will never be alone with her. You will never be alone with him. You guys have found each other. And I know that this community that is here, all of us are celebrating the miracle of love. Pat, I promise to keep updating our vows as we go because one set of vows can't cover a lifetime of growing and changing with you, falling more and more in love with you every day which is what I vow to do for the rest of my life. I love you the most. Lindsay, I'm here today to formalize a commitment I've told you many times before. I'm ready to spend the rest of my life with you. I look forward to one day holding your hand, wrinkled in mine with skin like paper, as we sit in rocking chairs reminiscing about today as a distant memory. And on that day, I promise to tell you the same message. Today, I love you more than I've ever loved you before. By the power of your love and commitment, and the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss each other. So we're here because two people found each other and we are connected to them. And a measure of a person is the quality of the people that they associate with. We celebrate who they are, who they are to each other, and all the things that they can become for each other. I keep on running back to you. I can't lose this time. And no matter what I do. And it was in that moment that we realized that Pat really loved Lindsay because he saw our family at our worst. And yes, our worst is when you were trying to explain a game to us. And he decided to sign up for a lifetime of that. You don't do that unless you really, really love someone. So if you could all raise a glass so that we can cheers. May the joys 
that the two of you shared today be just the beginning of a lifetime of great happiness and love. We love you. Lindsay and Pat, today you formally embark on your journey as a couple going forward. Having a successful marriage isn't so much about finding the person that you can spend the rest of your life with. It's about finding the person you can't afford to not spend the rest of your life with. And I think as we all look at the two of you, we say, you've nailed it. After this speech is over, I need you all to party like there is no tomorrow. I want you to dance, I want you to sing, I want you to drink. And lastly, I need you to raise your glasses to a toast. Pat and Lindsay. May your years be long, your sorrows be few, and your joys be many. Lindsay continue to grow in their love for each other, establishing a home and building a life together. May they be strengthened by the love and encouragement of those gathered here today. I could not be more excited about the life we've already started to build together, and I'm excited for all of the unknowns we face ahead. You're my favorite. I love you. Lindsay. You help me find joy every day. You give me the stability I need. You embolden me to take the leap and know I'll land safely. I love you, Lindsay Page. Pat. May happiness and joy always be a hallmark of their relationship. Help them to learn from one another and grow strong as both individuals and a couple.